All right, welcome into the stream. Derek Forrest here. Uh, we are uh, previewing the Browns-Jags games with uh, with ABC 25's Ben Murphy. Ben, thanks for hopping in, especially at 9 o'clock in the morning, but I know it's uh, it's a busy week. you got to be uh, heading out here soon, but thanks for hopping in. Yeah, man. I feel like, no, I, I should be the one apologizing to you for uh, or saying, saying sorry for getting up this early. This is... <laughs> I'm headed on to Tampa. Um, spend spend some time on there. Well, Thanksgiving week, but yeah, yeah, got to talk to Jags. Yeah, to Jags. yeah, that's awesome. I, I I have to admit, I'm usually still sleeping at this time. Oh, 100. <clears throat> so so you totally got me out of bed early for this. And uh, I told you earlier, it's a little bit early to to, to be shooting people. Um, <laughs> but we but we decided that we were gonna play some uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, so but uh, but yeah, we're gonna discuss some rounds and and some some jags so let's start there before we get into the game real quick i'll ask you one question uh before we before we boot this up but uh <clears throat> you know it's it's been a struggle this year for the jags and, and and the browns are surprisingly having a good season it's it's role reversal here and this weird 2020 season with covid going on things like that but uh what's kind of been the vibe down there with jacksonville and 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 how they're playing currently one and nine right now We'll say role reversal. The the Jags have been bad for twenty five years. This is true. <laughs> it's, it's, but it's like, the Browns have been bad for a while let's, too. Let's let's establish they've had like <laughs> two glimmers of hope to just like keep their NFL card. Mm. Like this is this is this is the norm. But the norm now for the Jags is all right. This could be okay. This could be okay because as you Ohio people know. Justin Fields awaits. <laughs> I mean, this is the norm. This but is this the norm. Is... I mean, seriously, if you look at it, the, the, the Jags have had Jags have had talent, but what they've never had. Eh, Mark Brunel was all right, and no one in Jacksonville, I think, will say he's a. I mean, uh, and a transcender. I mean, he's, he was a great quarterback, but right. when have the Jags had that franchise quarterback? They haven't. Like Bortles wasn't. I mean, David Garrard was solid. He was a good NFL quarterback. He had a lot. Of, he had a lot of guys, a lot of pieces around him. The Jags have not had a Justin Fields, mm. and if they end up falling behind the Jets and picking second, the season was a success. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, my only concern with Justin Fields. Obviously, we cover Ohio State as well here. Uh, my only concern with Justin Fields. Uh, up until last week, he's been absolutely outstanding. He's been a guy who's been super accurate, doesn't throw incomplete passes. You knew it was going to come. He threw three interceptions last week versus Indiana. And Haskins did not translate to the NFL. And he's coming out of the same system. Different type of quarterback, but yet still similar. Like, he's probably a little bit faster than Haskins, but they have the same style. Pocket passer can get out of the pocket when they need to. So... That's the only thing that concerns me. I know that they're both two different people, but coming out of the same system, Haskins, it doesn't seem like it's working right now. Although he's young, so you never know what can happen. But yes, you should still be excited about Justin Fields. But uh, but that's my but that's my my one concern is I was waiting for that one game where it was like, is he human? And we saw that last week, unfortunately, versus Indiana. So fair. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Product product of a system. I, uh, yeah. No, I think it'll definitely be interesting to see the. Uh, I mean, I still think he's an urban guy. I don't necessarily call him a Ryan Day guy. Right. I still I still view that I still view that what they're doing up there as as all urban. That's. Yeah. I mean, he left the ship running full steam and and Day's pressing cruise control. So yeah. No, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Someone for... who's watched a lot of Urban Meyer football. I uh, I, I, I don't know. Seeing someone come out of that system, it'll, it'll be interesting. Right, right. Uh, for everybody in the chat, uh, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, everywhere, um, you guys are more than welcome to comment, ask any questions. Uh, we will talk Browns, Jags again. Um, How bad I am at this game. So, so I was we'll, – we'll go into that real quick. So I was looking at that immediately, saw your, your ranking, and I was like, he either doesn't play or <laughs> – <laughs> or he just hasn't ranked up his let's guy see, yet. Let's see. Let's see how many dubs we've got. How many dubs we've collected? Uh, uh, if it I makes you feel like... any better, I have zero when it oh. comes when it comes to battle royale. Ton. Okay. See, I, t I don't play the actual game. I just play the 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 war zone. I thirty six dubs is not <clears> horrid. 
Look so at that. We, are, are we these... can get around. We can get around the block if we need be. I'm a, I'm I play a little conservative. I pick my spots. We move as a herd and we're gonna and we're gonna run through this bad So bad. you usually run what do you usually run? Solos, quads, duos? Whoever we got rolling, whoever <laughs> however many however many squads squads got. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian on Facebook says Washington Washington Q B coach sucks. I mean, possibility. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't watch uh, Washington enough to, to to make that uh, to make that claim. Two products to the same system, though. <laughs> Alex Smith and uh, Dwayne Haskins. This is true. Two products of the same system. This is true. You go. You go way back. It's the same system. I right. mean, it's a little. I mean, obviously, it's been tweaked over the years, <clears> but it's that's it's that that same uh, that same OG spread um, that that the old herbs herbs created. So yeah. the – Hey, working for some of them. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Dak Prescott, similar system. Yeah. All right, we've got a... What's going on? My game audio is not uh, coming through. Let's see if we can get that going. <clears throat> that would be why. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, we should be good to go. Uh, I was wondering how long it would take to, to oh, there we go, to hop in a game at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there are people everywhere. I don't know. How, I don't really know how this thing works. Do we play international people? Or do we just play? Yeah, we've people, got uh, we've got uh, international people. That just reminded me. I mean, we're running duos, but so we should be we should be good with other people's audio. Uh, Brian now says uh, Haskins and a Patriot system would work. Me and a Patriot system. Would work. <laughs> Anyone in a Patriot system typically works <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the last like twenty years. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> um, good. Last night was a blunder, but I really, I don't know how you Cleveland people feel about Tom Brady, but it is kind of cool to see him go out and have success, like, outside. I know he wanted to prove that. Like. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's something you want to do, oh, well, check system. Yeah. All right, so what's the deal uh, with, uh, the vibe what's the love with um with baker we, we, we love him we hate him we so we grind with him we 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 dine with him what's the so what's the, what's so the yeah so when he first got here it was uh, it was i don't it was interesting because it was a mix of hey this guy planted the oklahoma flag on ohio state stadium yeah, so so it did. was <clears throat> so it was like immediate hatred. Ooh, I'm gonna have to turn down this game a little bit. So it was a uh, immediate hatred for most Ohio State like hardcore fans. There we go. I think that's better. Can you talk to me real quick? Uh, yep. Check, perfect. Check. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so it was <clears throat> it was a little bit of hatred right off because he planted the flag on at at Ohio State. Where do you want to land, by the way? Where do you where do you where do you usually drop? Huge proponent of downtown. Downtown, okay. Picked out by downtown. Don't go and there's there's loot for days. So how about there? So you're not super aggressive because you don't drop superstore. <clears throat> oh gosh, yeah, I'm not I'm not that good. <laughs> All right, so we'll we'll drop there. Uh, and then once Baker got here, I mean, so he got them the win versus the Jets in prime time. I'm jumping. Um, and immediately he became the guy. He, he, yeah, he immediately became the guy and he's been that guy, you know, his rookie year. He set all the rookie records last year. He struggled, but he got a pass. And now I think this year it's kind of up in the air about how the fan base what he they think about to Baker. Be rolling, to be rolling again next year, though, hasn't he? Uh, I don't know. Because you also have to keep in mind that... Who are you going to get? But, you, no, it's it's not who you're going to get. You have to keep in mind that... um. 
Stefanski brought in um, Case Keenum. So, you know, he brought in his guy that's run his system before. So that didn't say, I'm super confident. Did you grab a bounty? That said, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get something to shoot him with. All right, I got to come down, though, because I only have a shotgun. I'm up on the roof. There was nobody up there. Um, okay, so I think that automatically says a signal that, hey, I'm bringing in my own guy. Uh, by the way, um, Keenum makes more money than you, like a lot more money than you. So uh, don't mess things Wait, up. Oh, he's yeah, Baker saw on his rookie deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't even know the the conversation is is he picking up? Are we picking up his option, his fifth year option? Um, and I mean, he's really just uh, you know he hates to use these words, but he's don't, he's really been a game manager, but. But that's also what happens when um, you have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt on your team. Oh, true. So, <laughs> you know, you take... Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. He, uh, I hope he likes playing football on vacation because he's about to... Uh, he's, he's about to have, like, six hours in the pocket. Here, I don't know if you want this or not. What do you got? Yes, because I only have two shotguns. Thank you. All right. Uh, Brian says he he is sometimes too scared. He started his career here fearless. Now he just seems shook a lot. <laughs> Keenum doesn't have the. In <laughs> I don't have any shield, which is. Yeah, I don't have any armor yet either. I didn't find any. Also, I'm not playing with headphones. You can throw them. You can throw. Well, you can throw them on because okay. you should be able. To, you should be able to hear me in game too. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me uh, find a little <laughs> a little spot to just hang out. This may or may not work. Sometimes they don't work in mid game. Start starting it up mid game. All right. Can you hear? Can you hear me in here? Do you can hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? In uh, the game. Yeah. No, but I can hear you through my computer, which is fine. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting you twice. <laughs> I'm muting myself. I'm muting myself in here. Okay. All right. Give me another one. Say something. Check. check. Okay. Where are these guys? I think they're like down below. Oh, we only have 11 seconds to. Yeah, he's coming. Someone just destroyed. Did you just drop that trophy? Nope. All right, let's go kill him, anyways. He's right here. Brandon, there. Oh, off the Leo. Up top. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But he's up. Up top where? Oh, I see him. Oh, I was lagging there. Tough scene there. <clears throat> I went to the gulag. I was looking through that door, and I don't know if it was his boy or not. <laughs> cool. I'm in the gulag. Yeah, same gulag. Same gulag. Sweet. That doesn't... Yeah, the, uh... <clears throat> the, uh, uh... I don't know how the, the Browns' offensive line is. Browns football, unfortunately. But... <laughs> Baker's gonna have all day. So he's gonna have, he's gonna have, he's gonna have. No, 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 all day. <laughs> so the Browns cannot be emphasized enough. The the Browns' offensive line last year was a struggle. All right, you can get, you can give me give me some comms. I have a pistol though. Oh yeah, where you at? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Oh, oh. Uh, got him. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So, so last year, last year the offensive line wasn't that great, but then we brought in Callahan as our offensive line coach. I'm gonna hang here until uh, you finish your gulag. Nice, Hi. nice. All right. So, um, let's see where we're at. Oh, oh, oh! I'm oh, gonna die. Just start me out of bounds. Yep, I just died because <clears throat> I did the same thing. Sweet. Um, let me get a, uh... <clears throat> I got a decent amount. I'm gonna go get a, uh... 
a scav. So, <clears throat> so yeah, what I was saying, offensive line wasn't that great last year. Then they went out and got Callahan as their offensive line coach. They brought in um, Jack Conklin. And then Wyatt Teller's been outstanding. So, yeah, the offensive line's actually pretty decent this year. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be able to so, book back there. Yeah, and and so part of it is obviously the news coming out of Jacksonville yesterday that Josh Allen is out. How how much does that affect you guys in the defense? They they have that they, they have no other pass rusher. <laughs> uh, uh, they drafted a first round rookie at LSU, Caleb on. So maybe he's I think he's still learning. Uh, Maybe it's because the expectation in bar is what Josh Allen did for as a rookie. Yeah. But Josh Allen's also generational in the fact that, like, dude's an elite pass rusher. Right. Um, Caleb Allen's just not that. And and part of it is this. And I'm a big believer of the on the defensive that um, all like high tide raises all boats. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That. They had so much talent around, like Calais Campbell, Yannick and got like the defensive line was pretty stout. And when you've got talent around you, he's getting doubled a lot. Allen is, so it's uh, it's been a struggle getting to the court. Gotcha. I think your audio's and and now that he's gone, it's. it's... <clears throat> Yeah, I think your audio is going in and out in game, unfortunately. Oh. Can you hear me? Can you I can't. I can't. I can't hear. Do you have? Are you using push to talk? No. Huh. Okay. Yeah, your audio was dropping in and out a little bit. <clears throat> so, but yeah, you mentioned you mentioned double teaming Josh Allen a lot. Uh, obviously, Miles Garrett's been double teamed a ton and triple teamed a ton. And he still has found ways to get to the quarterback this year. So he's going to yeah. be – you bringing me back in here? Sweet. Land on that scab. <clears throat> Where's it at? All right. And we'll go to the uh, – we'll go – Let me – Oh. Uh, yeah, I you're – I unmuted myself on Zoom, and we'll just do my Zoom chat. I muted myself in the game. I think that's better. There we go. That is better. Loadouts right there too. Oof. I got a munitions box. I'll drop that on the loadout. Hit the. Let's hit this uh, scav and then. There's a munitions box. Pick that up and there's a good gun here. Cool. Oh, this gun takes forever to load. <laughs> Better than nothing. It's true. Yeah. No. It'll be. It'll be interesting. Uh. Brown should run buck wild. I mean, it should be armor box. Let's use this here. I'm dropping the armor box right here. Okay. Oh. Of, of course, it's a fire sand. I don't like that box. Let's go back to the one I bought. Yeah, that's a that's a death trap box. Yeah, there's nobody in this one either. There's tons of boxes here. We might actually be able to. Oh, you think? We might have, if, I mean, if there's nobody in here, we might be able to sneak and get that load out. Maybe, okay. maybe. Hold on. Check out uh, ATC. Make sure nobody's up there. Because that's where we'll get sniped from. You know what I mean? I'll watch ATC. I'm going, baby. <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, who did the Browns get this past week? They had uh, Philly. A UAV. <clears throat> All right, I got my load out here. All right, there we go. <clears throat> I got a self revive. Oh, oh, would you pop three UAVs? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see where we got. We got car right behind us. Car right behind us. Ah, uh, too far. Ah, oh, 
just missed it. <laughs> I'm getting gas mask. How much you got? How much you need? You need a little more here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they get, dude. How about, how about, uh, I don't know if you keep, you guys keep up with the Vegas lines, but how about your freaking boy Nick Chubb the other day? Oh, are you talking about? Oh, ooh, where's that coming from? Uh, two twelve. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm shielding up. Ah, uh, I'm trapped here. Oh, I got on. self though. If I need it, yeah, he just peeked. Right there, live. <clears throat> oh shit, they're coming. Hold on. <clears throat> so you're talking about him running out of bounds at the one yard line two two weeks ago? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> well, the they he was told to do that. We finished thirty eighth in that. I got time for one more. We can run it up. <clears throat> um, yeah. So. Here, we'll talk here real quick. Um, but yeah, they, they told him that he should run out of bounds there because they were trying to end the game as opposed to scoring a touchdown and giving them more time to score. So that was essentially what happened there. Um, but, uh, but, <laughs> did, what, did you, did you didn't have money on that game, did you? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, we're going to get into the endeavors of the situation. Oh, Good job, good job. So, so tell me, what are your what are your expectations heading into this weekend for this game? Here's the thing: the Jags are. I think the Jags are going to win another game. It's just that they're so the uh, just what they do. Mm -hmm. they, they 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 weasel out or one when they're not supposed to. Um, could it be this week? Probably not. <laughs> the schedule is so hard. Uh, I mean. Realistically, the Browns are probably going to win this game, but at some point, I think the Jags are going to sneak one out. Right. Um, they, they, I mean, they came close in Green Bay. Uh, they came close against Houston. And Houston's been struggling. Mm -hmm. But, like, they've played pretty well over the last couple weeks. Not so much against Pittsburgh, but no one's really played well against Pittsburgh. And the Jags do not match up well against Pittsburgh. Right. I, I don't know. I think, again, with the pass rushing situation, if, if, Baker, is in, if Baker enjoys time, then he's going to be fine. And it shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> Yeah, the, the see the game plan though typically for the Browns this year, they're definitely running the ball more than they're throwing the ball. Clearly, when you have two outstanding running backs. So, um, how's Jacksonville at uh, defending the run? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no, I have them right here. <laughs> yeah, they've they've it, dude. It's been and the the. the Here's the, more of this. The, more of the issue is the secondary. The secondary is banged up. C.J. Henderson on IR. Uh, Daniel Thomas got hurt at safety. Uh, he's been playing actually pretty well mm -hmm. on Sunday. They've just been banged up, man. Um, and, of course, they traded away before the season started. A.J. Boye and Jalen Ramsey. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, the tank is on. Dude, the tank is on. <laughs> Oh man, so so not even really hiding it there. What's the weather going to be like in Jacksonville? Because here's the, good. I was actually the, looking at that. Uh, the the Browns' last three games have been in rain and like fifty mile per hour winds. So if they can get some sun, they'll feel pretty good about that. It'll be like seventy five. <laughs> oh, must be nice. Um. So yeah, so right now. The Browns are going to be without Miles Garrett. Denzel Ward uh, went into the facility yesterday and said he has a calf injury, so we're waiting on the results of an MRI. Um, so defense is a little banged up, and that's been the weakness for the Browns all season long. Is the defensive front is outstanding. Your linebackers and your back four kind of struggle outside of Denzel Ward. So if you don't have Garrett or Ward, if you don't have Garrett or Ward on the on the defense. Uh, Jacksonville may be able to score some points. I don't. They're not going to be able to outscore the Browns, though. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Jacksonville actually has a pretty solid. They picked up a kid, uh, uh, undrafted James Robinson, who's been who's been a stud. Mm -hmm. um, he's which again goes into a theory of never draft a running back because um, you don't need to. He has been phenomenal. Um, everyone was like, "Oh, yeah, they trade Leonard Fournette. Why do we trade Leonard Fournette?" <laughs> Jim Johnson's good. Right. It's better than right. Fournette. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, he's he's something. He's been a bright spot. Yeah, good, good. All right, so uh, let's hop into another one. You said you got time for one more, right? Yeah, I got time for one more play again. <clears throat> All right, let me uh, leave this game. We'll play. Be out of here by like eh, ten or so. Yep, yep, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we we uh, yeah, it's been a the run game has been a, a little bit of a bright spot. Jake Luton had actually looked pretty solid up until the Steelers game, but again, like the Steelers have made a lot of a lot of good quarterbacks this year look look not so good. Right. Uh, and he's a rookie. It was his third start. I, yeah, that was that that was a that was a pipe dream in that game. Yeah. Uh, I, I still, man, I'm still the belief that the Jags are going to do this themselves. They're going to win one more game. I mean, uh, <laughs> what they do? It's because they're not destined for that number one spot. They're, they're, this is what they do. This is, what, this is what they do. They they have set themselves, but they do have so much firepower. And gosh, uh, I think it's eleven draft picks this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's or eleven in the first five rounds or something aggressive. Let me pull up the exact number. It's. I mean, they've got so much capital. Um, draft. I mean, it's like, but this is what they do. Like when I when I say this is what they do, like. The Jags have been in a constant spin cycle of, okay, like blank out 2017 when they beat Pittsburgh and should have beat New England and should have won the Super Bowl. No. Guy on that hill. <laughs> um, it's been a constant spin cycle of we're not good enough to be good and we're not bad enough to be good. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not bad enough to it in the cycle of we can get Andrew Luck or or whoever whoever it is and this is the year where I think we have two surefire quarterbacks to 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 get the get the job done and it's it's been uh it dude it's been a, it's been a it's been a it's been a wild ride and they've they've kept the front office when many people thought they shouldn't right. and, and uh and and everything that's gone with it man and yeah it's <clears throat> brutal it's brutal they need talent they yeah need talent and they need it quick and this draft has it and they've got they've got the firepower to go get some guys yeah it's funny uh, it's so obviously i've i've had the luxury of being able to cover different teams and sports and things like that and every fan base seems to think that they're in it alone all the time so when you know browns games are going on they're like this is browns football and i always say you know what? It's like that for like twenty-two other teams in the league, and, and you're you're an example of one of them. The way you talk about the Jaguars right now is the same way they've been talking about the Browns for like the last twenty years. Yeah, that's true. I would say if there's a team that the Jags can relate to, <laughs> it's probably the Browns. I mean, because literally, I mean, I mean, you guys have had some nightmares, and like, it's a, I. You, the Browns are the the ultimate. We're gonna throw something at the wall and see if it sticks. Right. You guys have. I mean, how many? I mean, the at least the the Jacks have not even given jumping many, like a quarter of as many quarterbacks a crack as as Cleveland <clears throat> has. Yeah. Yeah, since uh, since '99, it's been something like 20 quarterbacks, 20 plus quarterbacks or whatever since Tim Couch. Um, last week, Baker Mayfield finally has more. He has more touchdown passes. He he's now the league leader in touchdown or the leader in touchdown passes as a Browns quarterback. He now has more than Ben Roethlisberger since Roethlisberger's been in the league. He had more touchdowns than any Browns quarterback at at uh, First Energy Stadium. Well, Jarvis Landry which is has which is crazy. Jarvis Landry probably has more touchdown passes than like half of the quarterbacks on that 20, <laughs> 20 quarterback list. Uh, I'm just picking this up. Yeah. So I usually drop this building in quarry. This is like, I am supremely familiar with this building. <laughs> this building? Yeah. I, yeah. This is, it's a not, it's a good spot. I hate quarry, but I like this building. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good with it. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I need a gun. Boy needs a gun. There's tons down in the basement. Which is where I'm at. I'm on my way. No, and now I'm being hunted. Oh, being hunted. Right, what's the threat level? Okay. We're good for now. 
So I'm going to try to loot this as quickly as possible. If it goes up, go on upstairs. Yep, I'm already almost at the top floor. Now I'm upstairs. <clears throat> oh, there, here they come. Yep, we're at two. All right, I'm going to the roof. Okay. All right. Oh, the threat is up. Uh, yeah, let's see if he's up here. All right. I'm heading up on the ladder here. There's another ladder to get me up a little bit higher. I can tell you where they're at. They're probably in the building. Like, I almost guarantee they're in the building. Yeah, I can hear them. Okay. Where are you at? The top floor, just chilling in a corner. Gotcha. Like, right below you. <laughs> they're probably coming up. Either that or they're going to jump out. I wish I had a sniper. <clears throat> oh, yep, they're there. Come on down. Water's warm. They're on your floor? Yeah, come on. One guy? I don't know if it's one or two, but I popped them. He was here. He... Or he was in this. Hold on, I'm trying to mark it. This, like, stairway on the far side. Gotcha. Yep. Got one. Team White. Nice. Be tight, Princess. <laughs> That's actually a good spot, because there's only one way up there. Yep. That's why I sat there. <laughs> All right. There's... If we've got a box up here. I didn't open it yet, because I didn't want to make noise on the roof. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Uh, Great. How long's uh okay so how did how did the uh, how did the password fare without Gareth this week? Uh, amazing, actually, they ended up with five sacks. Olivia Vernon had three. <laughs> so yeah, they they stepped up big time when uh. People on that for Colin. Oh, I see. I see it. Uh, wow, that's nuts, really. Yeah, they ended up with five sacks last week. Um, Olivier Vernon has had five sacks in the last two weeks, I think. They're on the roof. They're on the roof here. Okay. Gotcha. I can't hit them from here. Oh. All right, yeah. Let's let's avoid them. Let's like go left because they're <laughs> up and I don't really know. All right, we uh do have enough for a loadout now. Okay, let's do that. Uh, where's the closest by? Uh, the closest by those over here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. Start working that way. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm playing with my audio down too, so it's like I can't really hear people. <laughs> tough out on these streets. You guys don't even know. It's tough. It's tough, tough like this. They may make fun of the ability, but. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, yep. All right. Where are we at again? Where is it? Where is that by? Right there. Oh, can we go up? No. No. Oh, yeah, we can. You can do it. Be be behind here, behind the trains, we can go up. I think we got shots coming from the by. Maybe? Right from that roof. Alright, we, we got a good scope from up 
up here. I got like a picked up like some sort of thermal air. Let me give her a gander. I got nothing. I'm coming with my cat. Right. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I got enough. Yeah, no one's been here yet. Love to see it. All right, I'm gonna throw it over here. <clears throat> the Browns still got a lot to play for, man. I know they're right in the thick of things, seven and three. They are now in the driver's seat to get into the postseason. So they're feel they're feeling good. It's funny because. I mean, I think the way they've been winning games have left people still questioning how good this team is. But I said it the other day, a win is a win. Like, you take the win regardless of how it happens, you know? Yeah. We, we make it our, do you need the second load? Do you need the second load out? Uh, no. I mean, if it's open, sure, because then I can get Ghost. But, okay. but it's not like a necessity. We'll scope. Right here. I think we're the, yeah, I think we're the only ones that dropped over here. Yeah, I'll get ghost and then keep my guns. Let's make a run for it to the hill up here. Okay, let me grab this gun real quick. Cool. Yeah, I don't think the Jags have been tech. Technically, only the Jets have been eliminated from playoff contention. I think is what I saw. Right. Which I don't know how that's legally possible. <laughs> everyone, I guess everyone in America has to lose, and the Jags have to win out. It says, it says, uh, yeah, and um, what's funny is, with everyone starting to come down with COVID, remember they came out with that rule that they would expand the, uh, yeah. the seatings even more. Got nothing on heartbeat. I think I, I think I see people on top of blue. Okay. I'll, Could be wrong on that. I may have saw that wrong, but... I'll give it a peek. I have a sniper as my secondary weapon. I got nothing so far. Might be seeing things. Um, let's see. Where's it good? Let's keep, uh... Let me keep trekking in. I got a bounty right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So what's been a what's been a bright spot for the Jags this year? Is there has there been a bright spot for you guys? Um, yeah, um, I know I'd mentioned James Robinson in the run game. Right. Have a successful run game. I think the offensive line play has been improved. Um, I, I like Juwan Taylor, mm -hmm. um, right tackle that they got in the second round last year. I think he's been. They've got good pieces, man. Um, LaVisca Chanel, the receiver out of Colorado. Right. Um, he's injured right now um, with a dip fighting a hammy. But, um, he, man, he's he, – him you, – you, you've got him, DJ Chark, um, and James Robinson, the running back. He, the, the, they've got – Jawan Taylor. They've got some good pieces going forward. Um, some, some, some talented – some talented uh, – some talented young guys. So, you get the right – whether it's the moves they this GM, oh, that's unfortunate for the boys. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, they get the they get a couple a couple more additions on offense, and they could be they could be uh, they could be working. They they what they did in this this last draft was they really focused on good locker room guys. Man. They right. like they really wanted to. I mean, as the outside world knows, that they cleaned house or whatever, they traded everybody. Right. Um, they really wanted to get. Oh, Oh, they're definitely in this building. Hold on. 24 meters ahead of us. Yeah. You got one or two? One. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, I popped him. Hold on. Push him. Yep. He jumped in. I'll go the other way. He's in. Yep. Yep. Ah. Uh, fuck. There's a guy. At the, there's two guys in there. Okay. 
They killed me, unfortunately. There was two guys in there. I only got one. Hold on. Upstairs. I got him, team wipe. Oh, they got you. Yeah. Sorry, I got enough money to get you back. Oh, All right. Good. Yep, we'll see what happens here. Coming back. <clears throat> Okay, I see where you're at. Coming. Which building did I die in? Blue mark. Let's see if my stuff's still in here. Yep. Oh, <laughs> it is. Oh, it is. Cool. Alright, I'm good to go. Got a scav to our right if we want it before we hit zone. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, bum, bum. So how long you've been in Jacksonville, at the station? Two years now. Two years. Two years. Nice. What's it like? I've always wondered. So I'm from New York, right? What's it like, uh, in being in your hometown? Are you a Jacksonville? Are you a Jacksonville fan too? Like, did you grow up a Jags fan? It's weird, man. Like, it's weird. So Jacksonville's kind of a, in my opinion, the South in general is like college football first. Right. Uh, so the thing about Jacksonville is people don't know about Jacksonville. So Jacksonville is super like spread out. Mm -hmm. Like super spread out. So. For me to, like, where I grew up, like, to get to a Jags game, like, it took, like, 40 minutes to get to a game. Right, so, right. So, I grew up, and, like, my family, like, huge, gung-ho, like, Florida football fans. Like, they, like, alumni. So, we spent Saturdays going to Florida games. Right, right. right. And, same with a lot of people like you go to Tallahassee you go to Gainesville like that's how people spend their Saturdays and like because they're so passionate about it right like, you're exhausted so so why do you want to get up at 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah and go watch this team get whipped for 60 minutes you know right what I'm like, right so that's how it's that's the interesting part about Jacksonville ooh, ooh, car, 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 yeah car. I'm a little ways away from you but I'm catching up because I went and grabbed that uh, scav, which you should be close to one, right? The other one right now, the other box. So you can pick that up. Yeah, it's right behind you. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh... Here, I'm hopping in a... Uh... What is this fire right here? No, it's not. You got a guy? Yeah, I got guys on, or deep, they're a little deep, but, woo boy. Begin. I'm crawling down to the safe spot. By the car, is that where they were? They're right here in this little. By the car? Got him. Got him. <laughs> that was kind of stupid on their part. That deep in that tunnel. Yeah, so Jacksonville is interesting in that in that sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have an armor box or a mun munitions box, but I'm going to drop it right here. Okay. I don't remember what I... I hope it's munitions. That's armor. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, so, but yeah, do it, working in the hometown's pretty fun, man, it's pretty fun, it's interesting. Yeah, I've been curious how, what that would be like for me if I was, like, covering the Mets or yeah. Giants or something like that. It's interesting. It's 
got its good moments, got its bad moments. Yeah. Alright. Someone might be... Yeah, and someone might be sneaking up behind us on gas. No, we're good. Hurry up. <laughs> this part takes forever. All right, we're good. Boom, baby. All right, let's go post up. Yeah. Yeah, but I was saying before we started this, like the Cincy Stadium, because you said you worked in Cincy, was easy. To, I thought it was easy to get in and out of, like in, in the working capacity. Right. Uh, I was gonna go on to say that, like, some stadiums aren't. Uh, I was at the last Raiders game mm -hmm. in Oakland. I've never been more fearful for my life. Like, <laughs> like, dude, at the end of the game, the Jags like came back in the last like three or four minutes, the last game in Oakland. Hmm. And the yeah, they lose to the Jags in the last like three or four minutes of the game, dude. The the fans in Oakland were like ripping the cup holders off of the seats. Oh and man! Them onto the field. Right. Like, seat backs were being thrown onto the field. Chair like cup holders, water bottles, jerseys, like bodies, humans. Like, right. They were throwing. They were throwing anyone and everyone into the field. Um. <laughs> Dude, it's nuts. Um, and th like, you, there was an announcement like, if you are on the field, media, please be escorted off. Like, it was. It was <laughs> oh, Terrible. yeah. I've luckily never had to experience anything like that. I thought. Oh, we're getting shot at from behind. Oh. I'm in the open too. He's up on the roof, up here. I'm trying to peek. Up on roof, up on roof, behind my thing. Two guys, two guys, two guys up there. Oh, jeez. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> I ain't messing with them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was insane. Love the people of Oakland. Love their passion. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> they were like... I, I was like, what? In, I was like, there's no way I'm making it out of here. Right. The last game, I was like, they're let, they're burning this place to the ground. <laughs> Dude, these guys are coming after me. This, this is this is like the Browns D line on freaking uh, my boy uh, Jake Luton this weekend. <laughs> here, we'll watch your screen the here. Endless effort. <clears throat> oh, here they come, here they come. Oh, you got to dip back there. Yeah. They're, they're going to keep reviving each other, though. You're in a bad spot. Oh, yeah. Way. Yeah. Bad oh, spot there. Coming? Bad spot there. <laughs> Bad spot there. Those guys were good. You got the vibe. You got the vibe. <clears throat> With the relentlessness. <laughs> so any final Jags words for me? Any Anything that the people need to know about the, the dirty Duval, as we say? The, the, so, so what you're going to face... Let me... Uh, yeah, what you're going to face is basically you're going to get a dose of Nick Chubb in the first quarter. You're going to get Kareem Hunt in the second quarter. You're gonna get a mix of both of them in the in the third quarter, and then Chubb's gonna finish you off in the fourth. That's essentially that's essentially how they've been doing it. Uh, I think it's gonna be both ways. Stack the box. It might be a quick game. We might we might not have to watch a lot of it. They're just gonna run the clock. Out. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 the old school saying three yards in a cloud of dust is essentially uh, what's gonna happen on Sunday potentially. And then if you're not watching, they'll they'll throw like a halfback option pass or something that you didn't see. And that's, <laughs> and that's how they're going to get in the end zone through the air. Um, 
so but yeah they're gonna they're gonna run they're gonna run and they're gonna run some more and baker might pop off to like austin hooper in the end zone for a touchdown or something like that um but if you but if you're going to win the game the jags are gonna have to take advantage of of a weakened defense um and a weakened back seven uh if they can exploit that but it's it's tough when you guys have a young quarterback and again like as much as perhaps we don't want to talk about the Jags and like rightfully so they're not a good football team. Um they're going to win another game. Like I am fully convinced of it. Mm -hmm. It might be this week. It might I mean it just might. It, it it might like don't be shocked if the Jags do something reckless and win. Because that's what they do. They will somehow weasel themselves out of this second draft spot. <laughs> and it might Cleveland just might be uh, in the way of that, <laughs> right? Like, but uh, you, you, you know, uh, it is what it is, man. I appreciate you having me on, though. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Uh, let me get two more questions for you. I know you got to run, but uh, what do the what do the Jags have to do to pick up a win Sunday? Not turn the rock over. Luton had four interceptions on um, Sunday. And it got out of hand real quick. They were in that game, actually. Um, for, I mean, they went and drove down and scored three points on the first drive. They were in the game in the second half. Four turnovers from Luton. Ain't going to get it done. Mm -hmm. Protect the rock. Give the rock to James Robinson. Protect the football. And that's how they'll get this thing done. If, if they have a chance to get it done. Protect the football. <laughs> and final question, just your predictions for the game and then why you gave that to me. Do we know the Vegas spread? Because Vegas is usually <laughs> so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have it uh, I have it right here. Let me get that for you. We're looking at week 12. Probably six and a half. It is seven. Seven, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me Cleveland 24, Jacksonville 20. And why? The Jags are going to cover. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to cover. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Well, Ben, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, we'll definitely have to get a, a game in or two offline uh, now that we have each other on the game. But, uh, again, thanks for doing it. Um, Good luck, Cleveland. Good I'll luck, Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland, this was for you. Oh, man. So I will catch you later. You be safe uh, this Thanksgiving and uh, and try not to eat too much food. No promises. All right, man. I'll talk to you.